An ordinance to drastically limit the sale of menthol tobacco in Minneapolis is getting strong reaction from both sides. The proposal would ban the sale of menthol-related products to tobacco shops. A public hearing on the ordinance brought a packed house to city council chambers. Supporters argue menthol products target young people. Rachel Slavic explains why there's a strong push against the proposal. At Metro Petro in Minneapolis, gasoline isn't the only product driving sales. This winter green, this one. For owner Mia Lambert, a big portion of revenue comes from tobacco. Menthol cigarettes and smokeless tobacco is 47% of our tobacco category. Mia worries she could lose those profits due to a proposed ordinance prohibiting her from selling menthol flavored products. Potentially half of our business coming in the store may not come here anymore because we don't have what they want. This ban on the sale of menthol tobacco products uh, is the last straw for us. She and her husband were among a dozen different retailers who voiced their opposition at City Hall. They want more time to study the economic impact. Should this ban go into effect, we will need time to transform our business model, and that's not easy. It is the leading cause of premature and preventable death. Yet turnout at a public hearing shows those retailers face a tough battle in a decision of public health. Most youth start using flavored and menthol tobacco products. There's just decades of data on that. Supporters wanting significant restrictions to menthol sales brought compelling arguments. The easiest way to quit smoking is to never start. And for the city council, the decision to allow menthol sales isn't just one of public health, but of the well-being of some small businesses. Now, the city vote, uh, council could vote on this as early as their August 4th meeting, and if it is approved, it would go into effect immediately, but actual enforcement wouldn't begin for another year. Okay, got some time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rachel. Mm -hmm.